Hello, hope you're doing great. Today we are going to talk all about Realtek on Windows 11, how to download, how to install, how does it work and what you can do with it. Hope you enjoy. The first and most important concept that you need to understand is that Realtek is a company that produces audio cards and sells those audio cards to your motherboard manufacturer. For example, if you use Gigabyte or Asus, you have 99.9% .9 chances that they use a Realtek audio card. That also means that the audio card is not part of your Windows, it's not a component of your Windows, it's a component of your motherboard. So the only one that really know exactly what audio card do you have on your PC is not Windows, it's the motherboard manufacturer itself. And why is that important? Because there are several models of chips and to know exactly which chip you have, you need to know exactly what motherboard do you have. And since the chip is within the motherboard, the one that is responsible for providing you the driver for your Realtek is your motherboard provider. In this case, for example, if we buy an Asus or a Gigabyte, we need to download the proper drives for that motherboard. And how can you know what motherboard do you have? The best and easiest way to know exactly what motherboard do you have is by pressing the Windows key. It's located between the Ctrl and Alt key in the lower left right of your keyboard. And while you hold it down, you press the R key. This will open a window. And here you type MSINFO32 or MSINFO32 and you press Enter. This will open a window with information about all your hardware and there you should find two key one is called baseball manufacturer and baseball product and that will give you the name of the manufacturer in this case asus could be shagabyte or anything else and the exact model in this case republic of gamer strix zeta 390e so hopefully with that information you should go to the home page of your manufacturer and download the proper driver for your baseboard or motherboard. It's the same and that will include the real tech driver. So to avoid viruses and malfunction it's very important that you avoid the following mistake. Download real tech from Google. Go to your manufacturers and download the proper driver from your motherboard baseboard manufacturer. Once you do that, if you type again the Windows key and type Realtek, you should see the Realtek audio console. You press enter and now you are in Realtek. If when you try to open Realtek, there is a very common error that happened to me that I optimized my computer and it says cannot cannot connect to RPC server and the solution, the problem is that I had disabled Realtek in the startup. So you type start and press enter and you will see this window and make sure that you have enabled the Realtek on a startup. That will enable the RPC server. Another important concept related to Realtek is that you use a headset, for example this one, that are USB, they always have their own audio card inside this box and this connects directly to Windows and bypasses completely Realtek. So Realtek only works with the devices that you insert directly into the audio card of your baseboard, that is the, the microphones that are analog or of, and of course the, all the, the output in the audio lines. It's very interesting to understand that you not only have an audio card in your USB headset, if you have one, you also have an audio card in your video card. Let's take a look here. It says Samsung, but below it, say, it says AMD High Definition Audio. This means that my video card contains an audio card and of course, if I use this output, will completely ignore Realtek. So having said that, what can you do with your real tech, tech console? 
Well, one of the main functions is to amplify the output of your microphone. If you have an analog microphone, you can amplify it. Usually they have low power, low volume, so you can amplify it from here. Here you have also nice functions like removal of the acoustic echo, noise reduction, sample rate. Also you will have several configuration options for your output depending on your model. But usually you find the most useful things in the advanced section. For example, enable acto detection when you plug in a new device. Here you will be able to fix all the problems with the connectors in the back panel and front panel. But many people will like to use Realtek for listening themselves while they record or while they sing. And you can do that with Realtek. You only need an analog recording device, an analog MIG. You can do it with a USB microphone. You will have a small delay if you use a USB. Usually it's never lower than 30 milliseconds. That is very annoying. Where do you find this option? Here below. Make front and rear output devices playback the same audio stream. You need to unify both streams and you will start listening yourself while you use your mic. If you want more detail on that, I made a full video on how to listen your save while recording. I did a version for USB and a version for analog devices that of course uses Realtek. I give a more detailed explanation there. Hope you find this information useful. If you find a like is super appreciated, a comment is also, comment is also very appreciated. And thanks a lot for watching.